Hello everyone, my name is Jia Haoli from UCLA HCR Research. Today I want to talk with you about the paper Romeo, a design tool for embedding transformable parts in 3D models to robotically augment default functionality. This work is a joint effort between UCLA HCR Research and Texas A&M University. Let me first ask you a question. How many of you have played with stealing coin piggy bank, such as this? Kitty shape piggy bank and Kawanashi piggy bank. You just put a coin on a platform and some characters would show and take it. What if we can design our own stealing coin piggy bank using any customized shape? For example, can we turn this minion into a stealing coin piggy bank? With Romeo, end users are empowered to design minion shape piggy bank that could steal a coin from your hand, as the video shows. However, such concept of design is not only about designing piggy bank. It's about designing transformables, which are objects that could transform a part of its body to augment its original function. Such transformables can make our life a lot easier, such as this transformable furniture, multiple cup holder, and iPad cover. But customizing transformable is really hard. It requires domain knowledge in design, robotics, and mechanism. Therefore, we propose Romeo to bridge this gap by providing a design tool that can embed transformable parts in object 3D model to augment its default functionality. Here is some examples showing a large design space that Romeo is capable of. Users can robotize a paper towel holder to pull sheets without contaminating others. Users can also transform a cup holder to attach to an armchair. A spatula can also be robotized to stirring the pot automatically when unattended. A stamp can become self-inking and self-stamping. And a flower pot can water the flower according to a predefined schedule. And these are the results designed by our participants in our design sessions. So here I will introduce the workflow of using Romeo. Romeo allows users to express at a high level which part of the object to be transformed, how it moves following the motion points in space, and the corresponding action to be taken. The first step is to select a part of the object to be transformed. Users can select the transformable parts by sweeping the cross-sectional area along one of three major axes. The second step is to specify the motion points and the corresponding action to be taken. Users could define the task by specifying motion points to be followed in order. Corresponding action is also specified at each point including pick and place, following a trajectory, and attach it to a surface. The third step is to generate an embedded robotic arm using a backend algorithm. The design results will be visualized and animated for validation. The final step is to generate components for fabrication and implementation, which includes generating joint connectors, screw holes, and grippers for the components. The users could export this and send for 3D printing. For more technical details and user study results, please refer to our paper. So in conclusion, Romeo is an end-to-end -end design tool that addresses both geometric and functional constraints in generating a transformable part into an object 3D model while being able to transform and perform a user-defined task. So that's my presentation. I'm happy to answer any questions.